Maur Polimero was certainly a surprise, not for its theme, but for the great writing and storytelling that kept us invested in a normal auto driver life until he went missing to then introduce us of the conflict and then to the eventual reveal of the actual incidents proving that the innocent auto driver is not that innocent and if anything opposite of it was shocking not just for the characters in the movie but also for the audience the director didn't leave it at that he showed in the final ending scene that the lady who was supposed to have been dead that created all of that mess is still alive it created more mystery and definitely appreciative of the director for doing that in this day and age to be able to find your audience on ott with less popular and new actors in itself is very difficult but to not only have found that success and now further converting it into more lucrative opportunity with polymer 2 is definitely a great act. i can certainly appreciate the director and the makers here what is even more appreciative is that the director having kept the same actors in this part also because normally when you find success you want to move on to more popular and recognizable face it may actually also be a good business reason to have the same characters to keep continuity in this part anyway coming to the part 2 trailer this film's central conflict and story seems to have been immediately established and seems to revolve around a temple and we can almost see all of the characters from the first part except for that supposed dead girl who came back in the very end is not there in this film but what surprised me and what caught my attention is the return of the serpent who was supposed to be dead but is seen alive here in this trailer for most of us the curiosity for most of us who saw the first part was if this movie will provide us the answers to the questions all of us had but based on the trailer it looks like it is a new or a different story altogether but who knows the director definitely seems intelligent and can still creatively connect it to part 1 we'll all have to wait and see see you in the cinemas